How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. And I really do appreciate you taking your time tuning into today's video. Real quick, I want to apologize for not posting any videos this weekend. On the weekends, I try to at least post one video. But on Friday, after I posted my last video, which was around 2 p.m., I had to go run some errands. And then when I came home after 5 o'clock, I couldn't access the internet on my computer at all. And of course I checked everything. First I checked to make sure the internet was working. And it was working on all the other devices in the house. I even took my computer downstairs and used it right next to the router. And it didn't work. I even hardwired it. Nothing would come up on the internet. It would be just a white screen and if I tried to get on YouTube, it would say YouTube up in the taskbar. And it would just buffer and buffer and buffer. So all weekend I tried to troubleshoot it and couldn't figure it out. So this morning I took it to Best Buy. And the guy was very helpful, and his name was Nate. And he determined somehow, I believe it's called the toolbar that's at the bottom of my computer, where I have the icons where I can just click on them, like YouTube or Google, and it takes me right to them. For some reason, it wasn't working. When I would click on the YouTube icon, like I said, I would just get a white screen, and it would say YouTube up at the top, and it would just buffer and buffer, and nothing would ever come up. And the same thing for anything else I tried on the internet. So then he clicked on the Microsoft Edge icon, and that came up. And then he typed in YouTube, and it came up right away. And any other website that you typed into it, it would go straight to the page. So like I said, somehow, I believe it's called the toolbar at the bottom, or taskbar, somehow it's just not working. And I know there was an update recently, and I don't know if that had anything to do with it. And then the other good news, they didn't charge me anything because they didn't have to open up and work on it. But he did say it's probably time in the next couple of years for a new computer, because I've had it for about five years. All right, enough of that. Let's get into today's video. About five days ago, I posted a video about an Ohio man who was contacted by the ATF, and he was told that he could come pick up his bump stock that they have had for five years. And now the ATF has sent out letters to all the people who turned in their bump stocks, not the ones that were destroyed, but ones that they said that it would hold on to in case something like this did happen. And it did happen. And the letter says that everybody has 90 days to pick up their bump stocks. The ATF will be eating a lot of crow for the next 90 days. And now the original owners of the bump stocks that turned them in have a chance to go pick them up. The ATF sent out letters titled, Notice of Opportunity to Request Return of Bump Stock or Bump Stocks. In ATF custody, the letter had a Washington, D.C. address and an email address where someone can contact the ATF to make arrangements to pick up their bump stock. And they said once the requests are processed, then the original owner can pick up their bump stock. The ATF letter states, in the interest of returning your item as soon as possible, please submit your claim form within 90 days of this letter. The letter goes on to say, bump stocks that remained unclaimed after that time may be considered unclaimed or abandoned and may be subject to disposal or just maybe they might end up in some of the ATF agents' homes. These ATF letters were sent out last week, and they cited the Supreme Court case, Garland v. Cargill. And in that Supreme Court case, they ruled that bump stocks are not machine guns, as defined by the National Firearms Act. And just a reminder, for quite a few years, the ATF deemed that semi-automatic firearms equipped with bump stocks were not machine guns. And even though this is a win, there are still over a dozen states that have banned bump stocks. So most likely this will be the precedent when the ATF is told they have to return aftermarket triggers and pistol braces. Like I said, this was a big win for the Second Amendment, even though you have never owned a bump stock and never want to buy one. Like I said, there's still over 12 states that still ban bump stocks. And hopefully one by one, we can get them to overturn that as well. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about today's video in the comments section down below. And I really do appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys are always crushing it by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications. And I'm very grateful that you do so. And I invite everybody to come back and watch my next video.